we have to start modeling the fire protection lines by first placing the sprinklers. Now we do remember that when we previously wanted to place the terminals which were hosted, we would have had to place them in the ceiling plan. Now the exact same thing goes for the sprinklers. I'm going to be placing hosted sprinklers on the false ceiling and the best way to do that is to go in our ceiling plan or the false ceiling plan which we have and then once we are there we're going to be linking our plans and then we could place the sprinklers. Now in the views which we created in the project browser window we never made anything under the name ceiling plan. Each one of these views we have here is a floor plan. We don't have any ceiling plans, so we have to create them. How do we do that? We go to the View tab, then we click on Plan Views, and before we were creating floor plans, and now we're going to select Reflected Ceiling Plan RCP. So I'm going to select Reflected Ceiling Plan, and then a window appears asking us which one of the levels do we want to create a Reflected Ceiling Plan or a RCP from. So I'm going to select everything from the negative second to the fifth floor and then click OK. Now if we go check in views and coordination, under the question marks we can find the ceiling plans. Now the first thing which we have to do is to rename them. So I'm going to select and rename them all in order. This one's going to be negative second ceiling plan and also fire protection. So this is a ceiling plan which we want to adjust in a way that we will only be able to see the fire protection items in. Now I'm going to select all and press Control c and then click somewhere. Then we get a message asking do we want to rename the corresponding levels? No we don't. So I just clicked no. Now we're going to go to the next one and press Control v only I'm going to make this one negative first then press enter. Now rename corresponding, no. Then again the next one, I'm going to rename it, then press Control v and I'm going to make this one 0, ground, ceiling plan. Rename corresponding, no. Now we go to the first floor, we're going to press Control v and make this one the first, rename corresponding, no. Now to the second floor, First, control V. We make this one the second, rename corresponding, no. Now the next floor is going to be the third floor. So I'm going to make it the third, rename corresponding, no. Now onto the fourth floor, press control V. Make this one the fourth, rename corresponding, we're going to click no. And now for the last one, we're going to press control V. And then make it the fifth, rename corresponding, no. Okay, so now I've just created these and now I have to go in one of them and then adjust the settings the way I require them to be and then I'm going to create a view template. Now the settings we need, as you can see, we have the ceilings here and the corners and we also want the view to be fine and it's also best to keep it unshaded and we don't need to necessarily see it in coordination so I can change the discipline to mechanical and then we're going to set the sub-discipline on fire protection. We already have the sub-discipline for the floor plans and now all that's left to do is to adjust these settings in the visibility graphics window. So I'm going to press VV and first I'm going to decide that I do not want to see the ducts here. So while I'm here in the first tab I'm going to uncheck everything that's under the name duct. We're not going to want to see any of these ducts. Also, let's not forget the flex ducts. Now we go to the filters tab and then click on add and we're going to add the pipe filter here. We're doing this because we only want to see the fire protection pipes and not the other ones. So I'm going to select them by holding the control key, select domestic cold water, hot water, fire protection, hydronic, sanitary and vent. Then OK. Okay, so now out of all these, I'm going to uncheck the sanitary, then hydronic, and the domestics, and vent. Only thing that's left is fire protection, so we're going to click OK. And now if we look at the plan, 
we will see that the ducts and all the other items which we didn't want to see here are hidden. Do we need to adjust anything else here? No, I think we're pretty much done. So now I can go up to the View tab, then click on View Template, and then Create Template from Current View. So we're going to be creating a template from this view. Also, I'm going to name it Fire Protection Ceiling Plan. Now click OK, and then another window appears which allows us to check everything and readjust anything if we need, which I think everything's fine, so I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to select the other ceiling plans. I'll select the first one, then hold the Shift key, then click on the last one, right click, and then apply from Fire Protection Ceiling, then we're going to click OK. And now all the ceiling plans went where they need to be. So for fire protection, not only do we have floor plans, but also ceiling plans, and we would have to use both views while we are drawing. Now I'm going to have to link the fire protection plan inside the ceiling plan for the fourth floor. Over here in CAD, you remember we had all the plans at once, as in the plans for all levels are in one file. So we have to separate the fourth floors. First thing we notice is that these plans are blocks. So I'm going to select them, then press the X key to activate the explode command, and then press enter. Now I'm going to wait for the architectural plans to be exploded, so that I would be able to only select the fourth floor. Now I'm going to drag to select the items of the fourth floor's plan, then press Ctrl C. Then I'm going to create a new sheet and press Ctrl V. Also I'm going to try to click somewhere near the WCS so the plan doesn't go too far. Alright, now looking at this plan, I noticed that the grids have not been copied and that's because the layer is locked. So I could just go over here and then unlock this layer. Actually, let me just go to the layer properties and unlock every layer that is locked. Now we don't have any frozen nor off layers. All right, so I'm going to select all of these once again and press Ctrl C, then create a new sheet, press Ctrl V, and then click here. Now, as you can see, the grids have also been copied. So I'm going to save this plan. We go to Save As, then go in the Office Project folder, DWG, and then I'm going to name this file Fire Protection Plus 4. Now click save. And also let's check our unit. Which unit do we want to link the file with? So I'm going to measure a part. For example, the width of this wall. Now we get the number 245, which we figure that it is by millimeter. So I'm going to go back to Revit and the ceiling, insert tab, and click on link CAD, and then go to the path of where we saved that file. Then we're going to select it. And remember to check current view only because we want to link it only in this view. Then for the unit, we're going to select millimeter. And for the positioning, we're going to select center to center. Once we click open, the plan will be linked. So I'm going to wait for it to be done. All right. If you feel like it's easier for you to align your plans here, then you can do it. And if not, uh, you can select your plan. And then you can move it. Uh, over here somewhere outside of your model so that it would be easier for you to see the grids and align them. So I'm going to get a line, A, L. Then go to the horizontal grids. I'm going to select 4 from Revit. Then click on 4 from the plan to align them together. And then horizontally select D, for example. And then the D from the plan. Once the plans fall on top of one another, I can select the linked plan and check if it's the right name. And then I'm going to pin it to make sure that it won't move. Alright, now we have to go place our sprinklers. Now you might say to yourself that these circles are making the plan a little too crowded. Can we remove them? Sure we can. First we have to select our plan. For example, if I click on this grid, the whole plan will be selected. 
Also, if you've noticed, this Select Pinned element is activated, so we are able to select it. Now, up here in the ribbon, we have an option called Query. So it's kind of like we'd be getting a report of this plan. So click, and now I have to click on whichever element I'm focusing on to get a query on it. We were talking about these circles, right? So if I click on it, as you can see, a new window will appear, which says that this circle is under a layer called double zero doyere. Now you have two options. You can either delete this whole layer, so this layer would be completely removed from your plan, or you could hide this layer from your current view. Hide in view. Also remember, it's not only this circle, but the whole layer. It says layer. So the whole layer will be hidden. I'm going to click on hide in view. And now we have hidden all of the circles. Are we fine with the changes? Yes, so we're going to press escape to deactivate the query. Now I'm going to press VV to open the visibility graphics window, then go in imported categories and click on the plus sign of the plan. And now as you can see this layer we just hit, it's unchecked here. So if I want to make it visible again, I have to check it, then click OK. So you can hide the item with query and to turn it back on, you have to press VV and go to the imported categories tab. Also, now that we know the name of the layer, we can hide it here as well. So click OK and done. Now that we're finished, I'm going to make the pinned and linked files to be unselectable.